Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast on YouTube. Now, I've done quite a few of this zine before. This is issue 69 from April 15th, 1985 of Amazing Heroes. And we got Frank Miller drawing Electra and Batman facing off against... Your turn says, Miller's back. What we got in the corner here? Also, a hero history of the Phantom Stranger. Okay, that should be interesting. Now, this was, what, a buck? 95 back then, so it's kind of expensive. Be a blabbermouth, go ahead and spill the beans about Eclipse Comics. Of course, Eclipse put out really good shit. We got our back issues. A Starhawks. I was wondering what the comic strip would be. This would be Starhawks. Starhawks is fun. I need to read more of it. I actually don't think I've read all the stuff. The end of Starhawks. Okay. We got our news flashes here. What we got? We got some Marvel's Russian Elf Quest premiering in April. Okay. Some Marvel graphic novels. The last issue of Atari Force. DNA Agents. Time Beavers. Miss Tree in 3D. The Rawhide Kid. And Solomon Kane miniseries. This one Marvel's doing a lot of those four issue limited series. And there's some really good talent. It's got Bill Mantlo, so a good writer. Herb Trimpy, he's an OKR. John Severn, pretty decent. This one's got Ralph Macho and. Burt Blevins. Burt Blevins is pretty good. Coming distractions, of course. Look, very Kirby-esque. Um, is that DC? Let me see. Is that Kirby? It's a very Kirby-esque cover. DC Comics presents with Superman and Challengers Unknown, Alpha Flight, The Masked Man. That was what? That was Eclipse, yeah. The first American flag graphic novel, Hard Times. The original three-part story in one volume. Frank Miller Triptych. Electra. And this is yeah, this is pre Dark Knight Returns, so this is some of the first appearance this is, you know, technically the first appearances of these characters. These versions and there's Carrie Kelly we know now. And there's Bruce Wayne at fifty. It's an interesting little interview. That see it's Batman if then we got some artwork and some just sketches from looks like his some of his Daredevil stuff, his Kingpin, maybe. Oh, sketches by Wilson Cavett for the Daredevil graphic novel written by Miller. Okay, okay. That's why you need to read. This is uh, Frank Miller's pencil rendition of a panel from the Electra graphic novel. Really long and thorough interview. This is, um, hmm. Sketches of lecture, finish renders of these series will be used in the graphic novel to introduce chapters of the book. A finished page in the graphic novel. The lessons of Ronan have been obviously incorporated in New Miller's newest work. I have not read the Electra graphic novel. This is more shit from the Electra graphic novel. Some more Batman stuff. Cause he he didn't really done. I don't think this would be his first Batman th stuff. Okay. And then some more. And then we get the, the Miller file, which is all kinds of shit. You find his already fanzines, all kinds of shit. A stranger walks among us by Ed Sample. This is a really cool rundown of the history up into. Up until this issue was printed of the Phantom Stranger. Like you see, it's quite a few pages. Goes in a lot of detail and just based on the shit in the comics. So really cool. It gives you a little checklist. These are always entertaining. I like how they you didn't get like big, big character. I mean, I remember there was like a Supergirl one's probably the biggest character I've seen. The comic book heroes of um Anizo and Amazons, okay. I don't really remember what this article's about. The Golden Age Directory showing you where you can get reprints of Golden Age shit. That's kind of, always kind of cool. I enjoy Golden Age stuff. Comics and reviews. Smile, Larry the Badger number five. Eh, gets a B. I like Badger. Songs with Wings. The Shadow Wars of Hawkman. Gets a B. Pig Out. Peter Porker's Spectacular Spider Ham gets a C. Somerset Home six. Which I've heard of but never read. Okay. Bruce, Bruce Jones and Brent Anderson. Okay. It's like a B plus. Captain Britain. A bunch of different people worked on that. C. Ooh, shit. Moon Shadow. And then, of course, our letters page. And coming in June for Fantagraphics. 
and then uh, Dal Goldad. Just these are great little snapshots, of, like I always say, of the comic, you know, comic fandom at that time. I would have loved to have had this back then. I didn't. I didn't know about Amazing Heroes until probably towards the end of the run, like 89, 90s, probably when I found out about it. I don't know. I, the comic shop carried it. I don't know why I never looked at it. I have no idea. All right. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, you know, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.